down to the bars for some monkey bars business. It's another Friday and it's the dead zone Friday. And the dead zone is what I call that week between Christmas and New Year's, man, where nothing seems to happen much. You know, a lot of times people are on vacation or holidays and even if you're at the job, it's the skeleton crew who maybe you volunteered to work there or something like that. Nonetheless, the workouts have got to go on. So it's a new year, new season, new moves, new challenges, new goals on the monkey bars. And we ended last year, Renaissance year, with more hip flexibility and more shoulder flexibility exercises. So today we'll incorporate some of that as well as the pull-ups, the hanging, and I think I should go for doing pull-ups on the higher bar. There's a bar that's about six and a half seven feet up and then there's another bar that I guesstimate is about seven and a half to eight feet up and it's a jump for your average sized vagabond fitness guru. <laughs> of course it's a whole different feel when you can just grab on and pull yourself up as opposed to having to jump, brace yourself into the, uh, the hold, and then start doing the pull-ups. So that's something that we're going to master in Apocalypse here. I should be able to handle it and write a program for the simulation to keep in mind that 2024 is going to be a year of core strength, core flexibility, and joint flexibility. So how about this? More core in 24. <laughs> Hold me to it. I'll see you at the monkey bars. Here we are, kids. Another day at the playground. And as you can see, there's no one here. I'm not even here yet. Okay, I'm here now. It's been at least a week since we've been here. We might be a little rusty or sometimes the opposite happens. After a week off, we come back stronger, only it takes a while to get into it. So we're going to take that while, warm up, get into it, and report back to you guys right after this message. We, Bod and I, work out every day. There's some sort of exercise that we do, whether it's lifting weights or lifting body weights, doing calisthenics, jumping rope, walking long distances. And that not only keeps us fit, but it keeps us sane. And that's what we talk about in this series, and sometimes we even get a chance to demonstrate it. So remember, man, we're sending out positive vibes through what we do. So give us that thumbs up, take the subscription along with you, maybe give one to a friend, maybe give one to seven friends. Well, friends, that's a wrap for the new season under cloudy skies with a breeze and a bunch of kids out on Christmas vacation. Today, as expected, was very different. We may or may not have a list for you. If we do, it'll be right here. But I'm going to have to run down some of the high points of this uh, of this session. 
we did get up on the bar there for two rounds of pull-ups and I'll tell you getting down is as tricky as getting up the bulk of this session was pull-ups hip work and core work like I say as we expected so we're walking the bars with the underhand grip very slowly and it took us three times to get all the way across so we can feel that and it really has to do with moving and getting into that next grip we did lots of band work band resistance for the hips for kicking uh, flutter kicks we're hanging from the bars with the bands around our ankles and doing open close resistance like that we uh, did a leg lift bar walk and we practiced fake pistol squats right pistol squats off the seat and those are actually getting a little bit stronger so we tried going a little bit lower no dice so we're going to have to cheat them up until we uh, till we master that move but that's a move that we should try to master in 2024 as well we will probably go back to a Fortnite fitness type schedule when like every other week we're doing something different we might go with like strong bar walking we might put the backpack back on and just do pull ups with the backpack on and then the next week we'll do um, hip flexor pull ups dips and um, and core core all the time what did I say more core in 24 so every week will be core that's the plan uh, and we'll be true to it you know? once it's in the program we can't help but do it you guys have a great one thanks as always for checking in thumbs us up we'll see you next workout